Hello and welcome to Real Health. My name is Michael Porter and thank you for tuning in to the show today. Now the incidence of fire and burn injuries in South Africa is said to be very high. With the temperatures cooling down as well, it means that most people will be looking for ways to keep warm during the winter time. We thought it would be most appropriate then to put the spotlight on fire awareness and some of the things that we can do to prevent burn injuries. For this discussion, I'm joined in studio by Dr. Charles van Lochrenberg, who's an emergency medicine specialist. Now Charles, being an emergency medicine I imagine you've seen a lot of burn cases over the years why is it that the incidence of burn injuries is so high and is it increasing as we as we continue forward yeah Michael thanks uh, great question um, so for starters yes to the first part of your question right incidence of burns is high in South Africa and southern Africa as a whole just by being a developing country mm -hmm. um, and I suppose that helps us zone in on the commonest causes of domestic burn. Um, burn Shield is a product that is in so many first aid kits yeah. because it's got, uh, it has that cooling action. Tell us about what makes that something that you really need to keep around the house uh, to treat burns if they're going to happen. Very clever product actually in the sense that, and there are not that many uh, options to go for in emergency burns management in the home. That's why I'm particularly fond of that type of product because what, what's essentially happening is Number one is it's giving the person something safe to do with the burn. Right. Okay, so it eliminates all the toothpaste boot polish yes. and that, right? Because it's now, right, I've got a burn, I need this to is use the solution. this stuff. Right, so number one, we've got a safe option. Number two, completely sterile. Mm -hmm. So you're not adding any dirt or contaminant to the wound. Number three, the way the, the, the product is designed, it's a, it's a foam that's impregnated with a, a sort of a liquid gel, if you like, uh, and that liquid is the anti-burn property or the yes. healing property, right? Um, and what that does is it allows for a non-adherent, so it's not sticky, Okay. and we can take it off. Yes. When, when the patient arrives uh, to me in the emergency unit, I need to be able to have a look. Mm -hmm. So I want to be able to take off the first aid management. Without doing any more damage. Exactly, mm -hmm. and crack on with the medical management. Right. right. So we need a dressing that is easy on, easy off, step one. Um, and because of the particular chemical nature of these hydrogels that sit within the foam, wonderful uh, uh, sort of dual purpose mm -hmm. of helping to take a little bit of the heat out yes. so it becomes almost the modern running water, running water alternative, yes. right? Especially uh, if you're out maybe in yeah. bush or something. And, and you know, I say cool running water like, oh, well, just cool running water. But yeah. cool running water is not necessarily immediately available to everybody Absolutely. Right? Uh, at that point in time. So if you've got a little travel pack or a, a work pack or a kitchen pack mm. uh, of uh, um, this foam gel that you can pop on, wonderful.